Okay, now that you have installed your user module and hopefully created at least one student uh, and or added a student site to your site, uh, let's go ahead and talk about assignments 3D and 3E and take a look at how to do those. Uh, in, in 3D, all we want to do is log in as the student. So we're going to do that and then we're going to move right to 3E where we're going to have the student uh, create another web page within his or her site. So I'm going to go back to uh, my site and I'm going to log in as the student I created, one of the students I created in the earlier uh, screencast. So I'm going to click log in here and again let's say that I am Lauren Barnes so I log in going Barnes Lauren and I know the password is the first name. Uh, this is probably the first time I've logged in so I haven't changed it. I'm going to click log in. Um, now if I wanted to teach my students to change the password it's very easy. It's up here on preferences. They click that and um, they can do that but I always encourage them to make sure that it's something that they will not forget. Otherwise you as the teacher you're going to have to reset it. Okay now I've, I've uh, installed my button from the prior activity and I've got my click here to access your private website so I click that and here I am Lauren Barnes first time she's been on the site so I'm going to instruct her and all my students to click on the edit button and the first thing we're going to do is we're just going to get rid of this welcome message so I'm just going to highlight that and I'm going to delete it um, now I, I like to let my kids play with it for a while uh, show them how to add pictures and text and and, and maybe you know um, highlight text color the text she might write Lauren's cool website and you know so maybe she learns how to uh, you know make that a little bigger come up to 18 and maybe she's you know likes purple so she puts it as purple at any rate what we want to do then is I want my students to add some pages and some links to those pages where we're going to play schoolwork one of the things we do a lot of in my language arts class is journaling so I want them to have a journal page so she's going to create a page and, and this is how we do it and these steps are in uh, activity 3, uh, 3E three I believe. So what I'm going to do now is just type in um, Lauren's uh, journal page or even just Lauren's journal. I'm going to instruct her to highlight that text or select it. Maybe, maybe make it a little bigger. Maybe 14 is good. And then she's going to go up to link. And this is very important. We don't want Lauren's journal. What we want is Barnes Lauren journal. Okay, so I'm going to click insert. And then we're going to save and close. It's important to name the site something different so it will show up properly on your index of pages. A lot of kids type something like my journal and what you'll have on your administrative index is 10 links to my journal. So you don't really want that. Now, we're not finished yet. All we have is a link. So when Lauren clicks on Lauren's journal, she gets nothing. So we have to create the page. So we just click create page. And uh, the name is, is still there, which is good and all I gotta do is hit submit now I've got a page so if I'm Lauren all I'm gonna do is come up here and I'm gonna I'm just gonna do that and now I've got Barnes Lauren journal and it's important to remind them to leave that there so it'll show up properly on the index um, she might just say this is my journal page and um, hit enter and then maybe she wants to uh, Again, blow that up a little bit. She'll go to 18. Maybe she likes to make it purple again because it's her favorite color. Maybe she wants to center it. And then uh, she's going to be ready to enter journal entries down here whenever I ask her or the class to do so. We save and close. And now Lauren has uh, um, this new page. She can return home. She's got her home page, uh, Lauren's cool site. She's got a journal, and later on we'll add some more links. And that is how you add uh, a page and a link to that page on your student sites. Give it a try.